internal resisting torque um, uh, calculation. Think about a situation where I have a um, few shafts, a um, sorry, a shaft, and then I have a bunch of pulleys connected with this shaft. So let's say pulley number one, pulley number two, pulley number three, and then say this is a test here something like that so this pulley is applying say 200 pound feet of torque this pulley is applying 1000 pound feet of torque this one is applying say 8800 pound feet of uh, torque now like before uh, this is a uh, practical situation so we have to make the free body diagram of this uh, pulley system to so this shaft we draw the free body diagram uh, something like that so this one 200 thousand pound feet and then 800 pound feet and then here oh sorry 800 so to balance these uh, forces I have thousand 800 200 the total to thousand so I need an opposite direction 2000 pound feet of torque now so this is pulley a pulley b pulley c and i need a pulley some pulley say d here now i want to see what's going on between a and b i want to see the internal torque um, resisting torque of the shaft between these two pulley so if we want to see inside as we said before we have to cut it like this so if we cut it, then we don't see anything after that. What's going on after that point? So that's my pulley A. Uh, and then I don't see anything after that. So pulley A had 200 pound feet of torque. And then to balance this, I need to apply 200 pound feet the other way. So the internal resisting torque between A and B will be 200 pound feet. Okay. Now I want to see between B and C, same thing. Just cut between B and C. So that's my shaft. A, B, and then I want to see, sorry about that. I want to see between B and C, so I'll cut between them so I can see the inside of it. So that's 200 clockwise, that's 1000 pound feet clockwise. So to balance this, I need to apply 1200 anti clockwise. So torque between B and C will be. 1200 pound feet anti-clockwise like that internal torque to resist it because the external is 1200 to balance that we have to apply the opposite way same thing here we should have the direction similar so if we want to see any of this um, uh, you know section what how much torque inside this piece and oftentimes in designing shaft we need to know uh, what is the torque inside the saw shaft, the inside. Uh, so that's how we calculate um, the internal resisting torque. Like before, the first thing you do is draw the free body diagram. Draw the free body. Most of the time in the chapter, the free body will be drawn. So you don't have to actually do this part. This free body will be given. And then once you... Uh, get the free body and then cut in the uh, you know where you want to see the torque uh, cut in the appropriate place where you want to see the torque you want to see the torque between A and B cut between A and B and then the third thing would be just balance after cut balance after cutting 
and once you cut you don't see anything right side we apply the same conception conception we start cutting from the left side and go to the right side 